This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. I um I, I gotta ask. I feel like we say it a lot. Is that Sahadi? Is that Pooch? Who's probably doing like these? Chris Chambers and those guys putting okay. that stuff together. Uh, Jose Lothario being Shawn Michaels' manager. Is this sort of classic Rocky storytelling? Is he is he Shawn Michaels? Uh, you know Mick. It was, and it was also, you know, as you, you look at it, it was a way to give back to Jose, uh, for training Sean and man, you know, we, we looked at it and I got to admit from my standpoint, Jose was a huge star back in his time, in his day, um, in Houston, he, he walked on water and different parts of the country. You know, Michael Hayes made the argument, Jose wasn't over in Dallas. Okay, he wasn't over in Dallas. Right. Um, at one point he was. Right. Long before the Freebirds were there, he definitely was over in Dallas. He was over in San Antonio. He was over in Florida and uh, Puerto Rico and Mexico <laughs> and, and everywhere that Jose worked. Jose always worked on top. Um he did train Shawn Michaels, and again, it was a real story of Brett going back to his dad, going back to his roots. Shawn going back to his roots, and you show the different you show the different styles of how they prepare for the match and still get to the same place. So Brett has always said the build up for WrestleMania 12 because they did a great job here. I think most of the folks listening to this are around my age, and we, for the most part, love Rocky Four. And those silly training montages, man, they're just great stuff. And so we see Sean doing all these, you know, calisthenics and really cool training exercises with Jose Lothario. But Brett has said he's the old guy running in Calgary in his sweatsuit and rolling around getting stretched by his dad in the dungeon. Meanwhile, we're showing, showing Sean basically doing footloose. He's being young and athletic. In hindsight, do you think he has a, a valid case there, or was it more about just the legacy and and the story of hey, he's from the Great North and his dad trained everybody in the dungeon? Everybody knows that. Let's show it. Well, they're they're close to the same age. Eh, maybe not, um, but it was about as close to reality as you could get. It is. So, I mean, is Brett arguing that he wanted to do Footloose and? It was, it was authentic. It was the real thing. That is what Brett was doing. That is how people saw Brett and Brett was portrayed and portrayed himself. I think he's just, that is what Sean was doing. Thinking in hindsight that Sean's training video looked for lack of a better word, cooler. I can't help that. Uh, okay. Let's talk about diesel. I just produce them. Hey, so let's talk about your brother. He's got one of the biggest moments of his career. It's always, especially in this era, man, if you got on a WrestleMania, uh, your career was made for a lot of guys because it was held in such high regard. And that's certainly the case here. The body Donna's, including your brother are going to win the tag titles in a tournament final over the Godwins in five minutes and 21 seconds. Phineas would set up skip for the slop drop. Sonny lifts her skirt, shows the panty shot. He's stunned. That allows skip to win with a schoolboy one star. And by God, Dr. Tom Pritchard as a WWF tag team champion, even if it's on the pre-show pretty big time moment for your brother here, huh? Yeah. Not as big as being the best man in my wedding, but yeah, pretty big. Was he pumped about this or was your brother so far into his career that it was just another day at the office? You know, I think that both, I think it was another day at the office, but at the same time, as much as he loves the business, I think he was pumped for it. What about, uh, Sonny and Chris, were they pumped? I think so. I sure hope so. But I think at this, by this time with them, that there's a little disillusion, disillusionment. You got is it. Is that a word? That's a word. Yeah. I'm going with it. If it is, and I'll make yeah. it up and just stick by it. By God, that means they're disillusioned and they have a mint. <laughs> so they were just sort of over the major wrestling scene or the politics of the WWF or the schedule or whatever. Yeah. I think they were tired of being skippy and sunny. Oh, okay. He wanted to be a badass. Yeah. He wanted to be a tough guy. Yeah. Talk uh, a little bit about, uh, the observer. 
They write the Huckster Nacho Man billionaire t- billionaire Ted skip match will be on the pregame show, which pretty much removes the legal threats from the from that skit by using the likeness of Hulk Hogan, Ted Turner, and Randy Savage, all owned or controlled by WCW as part of an endeavor in which the public pays for it, which the pay per view falls into, but a free show doesn't. They would open themselves up for potential legal action down the road. So the idea is there was a match originally promoted. That's going to have Nacho man and Huckster and billionaire Ted in a match on the pay-per-view. Now it's the pre-show. Did the possibility of litigation, since you guys were already thinking that way, cross your mind? No, really. And truly the whole thought process behind it was goddamn, let's just get, get over with this and move on. And no one was going to buy the pay-per-view for that. No, correct. And it was, it was more along the lines of just let's get it over with, put it on the pre-show, be done with it and just be done. So by this point, you guys were just frustrated with the whole thing, but knew you had to have a payoff. So let's just get it over with. Okay. Is that one of those deals in hindsight where it seemed like a good idea on paper, but then it was just a fart in church. Like nobody cares. Well, it's, it's, it's funny, maybe one or two times, but then it just became okay. Yeah. We're over it. Yeah. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.